Hello there, today we're taking a look at the Moto Development Kit, also known as the MDK. So this was intended to be the developer's kit for the Moto Z series of phones, which was a modular phone. Uh, we hadn't seen anything like that before, and we really haven't seen anything like it since, uh, which is unfortunate. It's a great phone. It's too bad that we don't have them anymore. Now we just have stupid MagSafe, which, what? Who asked for that? Uh, anyway. So you get the kit itself and all the modules come in different packages, uh, which all kind of look the same, but they are labeled differently. So we're going to take a look at all of them and I'll give you kind of my thoughts and first impressions with this system. Uh, so breaking open the first mod, uh, you do get some paperwork and stuff and whatnot information about uh, the legality of everything. Technically, the Moto mod system was open source uh, because obviously, like Moto, they wanted to encourage people to develop for this platform, so they tried to make it accessible. Uh, I don't think they were relatively successful with that, so we'll get into that. Here's the mod itself. It's got this cool just tech design there. It looks kind of like a circuit board. Uh, it doesn't have any batteries or anything built in, so this button doesn't do anything right now. But you do get two USB-C ports. The middle one is used for charging any attached phone. And then you have a micro USB as well. Back here you can see the perforated board, which we will get to right now. So it is sometimes difficult to pop this open, but once you get the hang of it, it'll just come apart into two pieces. And then right here you can see there's some switches you can toggle back and forth, depending on your settings. And then here's the perforated board that you can solder things to. So, uh, this is just a standard board, but you could also get one that was compatible with Raspberry Pi. So there's that. Uh, the interesting thing happens when you plug this into the phone, which is to say that really, really nothing happens. Uh, because one, I had a lot of trouble getting the MDK utilities uh, because they've been removed from the Play Store, so you have to go find the APKs. And uh, most of the websites that I normally check for APKs, none of them had this, or it said it was unavailable, or you had to download it from the store. Uh, basically, none of these were actually functioning anymore. Uh, so you can click Allow and all of this, but none of the settings from what I could toggle could do anything. Uh, so... Either I'm not smart enough, which is totally probably true. Uh, I haven't really coded or tinkered with anything like that. I think the most amount of coding I ever did was on a TI-84 making silly little games to play during math class. Uh, but so it might be my inexperience, but I could not really get anything in this to work. And that experience, unfortunately, did not change when we moved on to other items. So here's the display personality card. So let's go ahead and bring that one out of its shell. So this is a display card. It's supposed to represent uh, a simulated second display. So the idea was that you could kind of tinker with that. And so let's go ahead and put that in here. See what happens. Now, my understanding is that most of these were supposed to come with uh, essentially a tutorial option. Like you would plug it in and it would run you through just how to set it up or how to kind of run that program. So snap that in, put it here. You do get an LED right there to light up. So let's go open the uh, personality or display right there. So, Moto Mod Display, I'm supposed to be able to toggle a clock, external display not available, selfie. So this is supposed to allow you to take a selfie, uh, but again, it doesn't show up anything, doesn't show anything on that back screen there. And presentation, reset, none of these, uh, it does not do anything on this secondary display. Uh, I, you do have to check and make sure these switches are in the correct position, 
I've triple checked that. Um, again, thing that's just decides to not function. And unfortunately, that was the same experience I got with the other ones. There's a audio personality card. So this one is supposed to be, I assume, just a speaker or an audio thing. Although looking at it, I don't really see, unless the speaker's right there, I have no idea where the speaker is on this thing. It doesn't, doesn't look like it has one. So maybe it's not supposed to be a speaker. It's supposed to be a different type of audio component. Uh, but again, regardless of what device I plugged in, none of these seem to work right from the start, which my understanding was that you would at least be able to run the demo mode uh, without really having to code or program anything. Uh, over here, we just got some more perforated boards. So these are just more of these to tinker with. Another perforated board. Uh, temperature sensor, so that's a fun one. Let's check that out. So temperature sensor. So this one would theoretically allow you to detect temperature. And again, this one did not work. This was also one where I couldn't find the MDK utility app for it. I was only able to locate the audio display and utility. Um, I tried to look around for the the APKs, uh, I found a link, there was a link to a GitHub page that was supposed to have stuff. I dug around there and didn't see anything. So it might be out there, I'm just not seeing it, uh, but it was very hard to find the uh, kind of software for it. It also sometimes, when you would plug it in, it would say uh, incompatible, that you had to update it. Uh, but when you clicked update, nothing would happen. It would say that it failed, really just not, Great, there's another perforated board there. So what you end up with is a bunch of cool components and unfortunately, nothing really functional. And that is frustrating. Uh, obviously, like I said, I am not well versed in the coding realm. Uh, that's not something that I have ventured into too much, but I thought this could be an interesting introduction to that, uh, but it seems like either all the stuff that was made for this has just kind of been lost to time, or it's more difficult than it appeared to be. Uh, maybe that's why people didn't make mods for this, uh, but they did make it open source, so theoretically you could still develop stuff for this. It's just maybe a bit harder when all the files and any of the support has been removed from the device. So I don't know if anyone else has had a different experience with the MDK. Uh, mine obviously wasn't very successful. Um, I'm not super disappointed or annoyed. I did spend a bit of money trying to get this together because I thought it would be a cool thing to take a look at. I have some students that are into kind of messing with tinkering with Raspberry Pi and stuff like that. So I thought maybe maybe this could work kind of adjacent to that. But Clearly, this is beyond me, uh, and it's just missing some critical features. I don't know if it's the phone or just the internet or something is missing, and these are not working. Uh, so can't really recommend it as is, uh, but maybe you can get them to work. Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in another video.